Watching NBA Summer League action, it's important to remind yourself of the setting when you see a player perform at a high level. With that said, it's really hard not to get excited about what Reed Shepard's shown through his first two games. The recent third overall pick by the Houston Rockets is making an impact on both ends of the floor, and the way he plays is wise beyond his years. I'm going to take a deeper dive in the Shepard's game and show why many of the skills he's displaying should lead to him making an early impact at the NBA level. I'm going to be honest, this season I didn't get to watch much college basketball or have a great feel for the prospects, though what I did know was Shepard was historically productive. He shot over 50% from three and had block and steal rates you'd associate with an elite defensive guard. In fact, the only other college player who had a freshman season remotely close to what Shepard did this past season was Zion Williamson, and his shots at Duke were quite different than those Shepard was taking at 6'2". One thing that's really stood out to me with Shepard's game in Summer League is his ability to create for himself and others out of pick and roll, where he does a nice job playing with pace. In this example, Shepard utilizes the screen and creates space with his crossover. Though watch what he does here. With the potential of Alex Sar switching onto him, Shepard waits for his defender to get back into the play. Now Sar's stuck in between defending the roller or Shepard. Shepard's patience pays off, and he showcases the high release point on his jumper, hitting the shot off the bounce. In this example, the Rockets are getting into their offense quickly, and a screen is set for Shepard at the top of the key. Though watch what he does this time. He once again uses his crossover to create space from his defender who is working through the screen. Now look at the room Shepard has getting downhill. He capitalizes and hits a pull-up jumper. This instance shows what Shepard can do out of the action creating for others. Though in this case, Shepard goes away from the screen using his crossover. But look at the attention he draws as he gets into the paint. That's four Wizards defenders he brings into the play. Shepard notices and finds a wide-open teammate for a corner three. This is an instance where Shepard's pace can create opportunities for teammates. Bringing the ball up against Bronny James, you can see he starts to change pace with the crossover. It results in a blow-by, and now Shepard draws three defenders as he's getting downhill. He again makes the right pass to a teammate that knocks down an open corner three. Given the threat of Shepard's outside shooting, he can be very valuable for the Rockets playing off the ball. This is a basic sideline out of bounds play, but you can see the screen set for Shepard to move towards the ball. Though look how much space he created with the hard curl now that he has the ball. Shepard utilizes this to his advantage and knocks down the pull-up jumper. In this baseline out of bounds play, Shepard uses a screen to get open on the perimeter. He might be able to get a shot off here, but instead attacks the closeout. Though here's where an opposing defense is in a bind. When Shepard's teammate sets a screen, the opposing defense can't fully commit to defending both Shepard's drive and the roll towards the basket. He capitalizes and shows nice touch converting the floater. Shepard can also use this to his advantage to create for teammates. This is a quick hitter off the opening tip, but look how much separation he's able to create off the quick shot fake. Now Shepard gets to the left elbow, and three Lakers defenders are focused on him. You could see Cam Whitmore recognizes this, and he starts to cut from the left corner, and Shepard finds him in what leads to two points. Given Shepard's size, he's likely to be targeted defensively at the NBA level, though he competes on that end, and his instincts and quick hands stand out. Here Shepard's defending the ball, but Alex Saar comes over to set the screen and ideally have Shepard switch onto him. Though as Saar starts rolling after the screen, Shepard notices this immediately, and the result is him jumping the passing lane for a steal. This example shows how Shepard can help as a team defender. The Lakers are running a post-up, and Shepard's near the left elbow defending his initial assignment. Though as the pass is made to Bronny James, Shepard quickly reacts to close out, and as James puts the ball on the floor, Shepard uses his active hands to quickly jar the ball loose and force a steal. Funny enough, given Shepard's size and instincts, his now teammate Fred Van Vliet could be an example of a player to model his game after defensively. The Rockets have a very talented young core, and Shepard fits well with the pieces. He might not start right away, but his ability to play on and off the ball can mesh with players such as Amen Thompson and Alperin Shengun. On top of that, the Rockets have defenders with size and length who will help Shepard on that end of the floor, and also allow him to use his defensive instincts to try and force turnovers. It is only Summer League, but if this is any indication, the Rockets found themselves a very nice player in Shepard, who looks like he will play a major role for them as soon as this season.